Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Show. The show where we are privileged to meet individuals who have made it a success in their lives in terms of business especially, but not only business, also in the community at large. Today we have with us such an individual who not only has made it to the high ranks of business, um, but also is recognized in the Bengali community at large for his well-followed leadership. He is the CEO of Avantage Accident and Management Service, um, the well-established accident management service, I should say. Uh, and I'd like to welcome none other than uh, Brother Abdul Samad. Assalamu alaikum, Sharifal Islam Bhai. Um, I'd like to thank TV One and the Entrepreneur Show for having me here today. So it's a privilege. Thank you. Well, I'm, uh, the pleasure is mine that you can join us uh, with a, such, a, such a busy schedule. Now, Vantage is what we'll be talking about today. Amongst many other businesses that you have, we'll focus is, uh, focusing on Vantage. Now, can you tell us a little bit about Vantage and when was it established uh, and so forth? So Vantage um, was established in 2007. Right. And uh, we have uh, about five branches across the UK and um, over 40 staff including uh, um, uh, uh, sorry including including a call center in Bangladesh a call center in Bangladesh yes right well I you know the call centers in Bangladesh uh, many of these businesses they have call centers in third world countries especially in Bangladesh um, Tell me a bit about that. What is the reason for the call center in Bangladesh? Is it because of cheap labor? Is it because of the, uh, the uh, sort of uh, accessing the buildings or the, uh, the, the venues um, easily? What, what is it? What's that about? It's mostly cost cutting measures. So it costs about 50% of our cost mm. uh, to have the same operation here. And to have it in Bangladesh, it cost almost 50% of our costs. Okay, so obviously, yeah, I mean, you save a lot of money and uh, money saved is money made, right? Yes. Right, okay. Well, the history of Vantage. Now, this is an accident and management service. There, there are a lot of negativities um, in terms of this type of business. I'd like to, you know, like you to tell us a bit more about the business and why this type of business is something that you chose, uh, you know, many years back. And how did you come about going into a business like this? Okay, so uh, I came into the business by accident. So <laughs> accident <laughs> management, very so, convenient. So by, <laughs> by accident, um, yeah. obviously my background is from uh, my family and my, uh, my background is from catering where I started right. at an early age. So um, I had a, I had a, f a friend, which is my partner now, mm -hmm. uh, Yusuf. Right. So um, he's been telling me about this m uh, business for a long time. So I wasn't entertaining it. I thought there's garage, dirty work. And yeah. I said, look, I'm not interested. So in 2007, I took a break and I sold out all my businesses. And I went to Bangladesh for a year mm. uh, in the beginning. Was, so it, was it a break that you were taking just to clean no, your head yeah, or something no, after was, selling uh, all the businesses? Is, no, I was just trying to see what else is there for me right. to do if I can establish myself in Bangladesh. So after six months, um, Yusuf was with me in Bangladesh. So after six months, I had to come back, unfortunately, because my what I wanted to do in Bangladesh, it wasn't going to work. Okay. So during that six months in Bangladesh, Yusuf was there for two months. So when I came back, um, I had nothing to do. Okay. So I entered into the business that he said to do, which was a great advantage. Right. Well, you know, like all entrepreneurs, um, they say that, you know, you, you stumble onto something yeah. accidentally. Yeah. And then, you know, like many of these great businessmen, mm -hmm. you know, they started off from scratch. And although you did not start off from scratch, you've got a sort of, as if, I, uh, if I'm correct in believing, that your business, uh, your family have been in, you know, the business background. And as you said, you've been in the catering business before, and you had many, many businesses uh, in terms of, you know, restaurants and uh, um, takeaways. Now, when you sold that, you said you went to Bangladesh, you yeah. took a break, you know, uh, it's, it's as if, you know, when you sell everything, people go through a little bit of a nervous breakdown. Is that something that happened to you? No, 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 no. I was, uh, I was looking at a new career. Okay. So I wasn't interested in the 
uh, restaurant and the retail business anymore. anymore. So I was looking for a career, so I, I wanted to establish myself in Bangladesh. Yeah. But due to obviously family reasons, I couldn't right. really connect it there. That's right. why I came back here. Okay, well, fantastic. I mean, so you, you, I don't think we've touched up on uh, the, uh, the branches that you have. Can you just mention how many branches you've so, got at the moment so and we have where five, they are? We, we have five branches. So we have uh, one in Luton, one in Birmingham, and we also have three in London. Wow. So pretty much nationwide. Yeah, it could say nationwide. Are but, you thinking, but, but, are you, but our coverage is nationwide. So regardless of where we're based, yeah. we can still access Scotland, Wales, okay. uh, the north, the south. Uh, it's quite still easily Still within the uh, UK, uh, the, the England range. Yes. Okay. Um, now, this type of business, like I said before, faces a lot of negativity. What have you done so different? What would you say that you have di you've done different, um, something maybe out of the box, that has established it further and how does that benefit you well, know everybody else well money wasn't my motivation my motivation is to provide a good service to the clients tell that comes forward right without a lot of uh, problems or issues so i think that was the success advantage is mm. trying to provide good services and not to be too money orientated yeah Okay, because I mean, I've seen I've seen your flyers and your your cards go around. The word of mouth is quite good as well. So you've made a, a good reputation, I would say, um, especially when these ty types of businesses, uh, you know, uh, come about. Um, now, can we just uh, we spoke about uh, um, uh, about your business? Now, running a business, I know that you're a family man as well, yeah. and you're also a community man. Yeah. Now, how does that fall into play? with this busy schedule um you know i know having one child i've got more than one child but one child gives me a lot of grief in terms of you know got to be home all the time take her out and stuff like that um can you tell us a little bit about your family yeah. and you know how many children you got because that's something that is uh, quite interesting okay this is actually very interesting and a very difficult uh, question um uh, so obviously i have a very good wife uh, who actually. actually takes care of the family side. So I have five children, the wow. oldest being 25 and the youngest being uh, six. So um, You don't look so old. I, I've been very <laughs> fortunate in the way that uh, my wife actually manages the children and whatever needs to be at home. Mm -hmm. And then I work for myself. So uh, as and when the, uh, the family needs me, so I attend to those uh, before anything else. Okay. So regardless of... So you give that priority? Yes, yeah, so I give that priority, but in the same time, I don't give them that time. Right. So those time is just as and when you need that time. Mm. Uh, so beyond that, I, I, I can't give them time out, up, out, apart from going away on holidays. Okay. Uh, you know, in these moments, when I ask such questions, um, I liked, I, you know, I look for the contradictions. Yeah. And I couldn't really find one because you said, you know, my wife is good. She looks after the, the children, yeah. so I give them time for holidays, but at the same time, I give them time as well. Yes. Um, it is quite difficult though, isn't it? I mean, you, you must admit. Well, my day starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, right. and at days, uh, it won't finish until uh, 12, 1 o'clock, that's through Goodness work, me. community, and socialization. So, mm -hmm. And we need to be socially active in our businesses and okay. what we do. Can you tell us a little bit about the sort of the ups and downs of the business? What kind of difficulties you face? Uh, and obviously the passion of it as well, because with difficulties, there comes ease. <laughs> so what are the difficulties and what are the ease? Uh, the difficulty is immense. Uh, so the difficulty doesn't begin in one place. The right. difficulty is every day, every second, every minute. Although I look a bit chilled and relaxed, it's not that difficult because my phone is probably going bang, bang, bang yeah, as yeah. we sit here. Right. So the difficulty is mainly the staffing. Is In most industries, most workplaces, you can't get the right staff and you can't get the right staff to do what you want them to do. The right job. The right job. Mm. So that's a difficulty that we will never ever be able to overcome but then there's people like myself and my partner who are there to smooth it out um, so that's one of the difficulties second difficulty is delivering what you promise to clientele so right. that is like you know 
a very difficult task because um, to make a customer happy, mm. you have to do a lot of Absolutely. lot of Absolutely. work. Absolutely. And when they come, especially come to us mm. as Bengalis, yeah. uh, when we have blank Bengali clients, uh, they expect a lot. Yeah. Um, so the expectation level is not just with their claim, it's probably they need and expect a lot from the personal service that I have to provide. So, I mean, uh, may, m the customers that you have, yeah. uh, are they majority Bengalis or do you have, you know, so sort we, of... Uh, we, yes, it's uh, uh, the walking service is majority Bengali. Majority Bengali. Bengali. So, so I would but say you, you do have sort of multinational... Yes, you, you yes, know, yes, yes. For, so for, we cater for all, yes. Right. But so, because you're a, 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 is it because you're Bengali owners? Is it word of mouth? Is it because, uh, yeah. you know, many people know you or, yeah, it's, I mean, obviously advertisement is a key factor. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's mostly word of mouth. So um, you've used our service, you've told somebody else, they've right. used our service, they've told somebody else. So that's how we've been going for 12 years. The word of mouth must have been immense because yeah. you've got many branches now. So it's an easy sell when someone recommends you. Yeah. Uh, while if you take something, someone new, mm. there's a lot of head headache and a lot of work, right. a lot of explaining. Okay. So, but when someone recommends you, it's the best form of business. Okay, fantastic. I mean, you mentioned difficulties. Yeah. Um, occupational hazard yeah. is one of those uh, you know, uh, difficulties that mm. everybody faces in business. Staff to be one of them. Um, now, in this kind of business, like you said, if you don't make people happy, you know, the, 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 the main aspect of it is to make the customers happy, that yeah. they come back to you. Um, now, there are many competition yes. in, this, in this business, as in all the other businesses. Uh, what kind of competition are a threat to you, I would say? Well, uh, I would ask. There's, there's good competitions, which right. we, we, we welcome. Okay. We welcome the good competition. Tell us about that a little bit. So, we have big companies who's been operating for many years. Mm. Um, so they deliver good services. Right. The competition, I wouldn't say as much, is the ad hoc um, businesses okay. that uh, come into the business, promise the world, right. and deliver nothing. Right. And then we have to deal with the um, the consequences of that. Right. So I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, the negativities. Mm as well as the positivities in this type of business. And we hear a lot yeah. about, uh, you know, the, the, this type of business. Now, when you talk about competition, now, these, there are so, so many small sharks, if you like, come into, you know, uh, the field. And do they, what do they do to take your customers? Well, it's like it, you said, they promise a lot of things. That's, that's it. People like to fall into yeah. false promises. And when you lie, people like that more than when you tell them the truth. When you say they like it more, what do you mean? That people so if I was to promise you the world, right. you would like that. If I was to tell you how it is and what it is, mm. you wouldn't like that. Okay, so you're quite it's, straightforward. It's not, it's not appealing to you. Right, right. So is that what you do then? That's, that's me, exactly. Right. So it's how it is, always what it is. If you come, welcome. If you don't come, then what can I do? That's now, keep in mind, but, but the thing is, look, um, when you say, uh, from, uh, from a business background myself, uh, you have to promise people things. We're keeping the ethics and morals of it, mm. the principle of it. Uh, you have to promise people things. But this is where I would say that you take that extra step further. Um, now, what is the difference? Maybe your uh, strategy works, but I've seen that, you know, straightforwardness, yeah. obviously you've got to be honest, right? Yeah. But straightforwardness in business, especially, it doesn't always work. No. What do we, how do we, you know, so, tackle this? So what we, again, what we have to think here, are we here for the short term gain or are we there for the long term right. gain? Now, right. uh, I can promise the world, yep. deliver nothing, that's short term, right? And I can tell then you how you it is. I can tell you how it is, what it is, and you can walk out. Then you'll go and use the services somewhere else, and one day, two day, ten days, month, year, you will come back to the services because right. you will, at one point in your life, mm. you will understand that what was said at that time is the right. Okay. Okay. So it's worked like that for me. I, I, you know, I have uh, customers going out without taking my services a lot, a lot. But right. I think that's my gain. I don't feel that's my loss. Okay. 
Let's touch up on that a little bit more. I mean, what kind of advice would you give your customers when they come to you? Well, um, I mean, there are many uh, different scenarios. Yes. Right. So, so it's, it's, it's a very complicated area. And yeah. it's a very difficult area, the insurance sector. Tell us a few, I mean, like you said, complicated area. There are many areas, yeah. right? So uh, it's not a straightforward accident. No. Do you understand? It could be, I mean, you understand more than me. It could be an accident. It could be an injury. Yeah. Right? That's uh, as far as I know. Yeah. Tell us, a, tell us the, you know, a few points. So what services that we provide from Vantage is obviously if you're uh, involved in an accident, uh, we'll recover your car, store your car, we will provide hire to you if, re if, car. Re if required right. and then we'll undergo. So we manage the whole, whole aspect of whatever you need uh, if you had an accident. Mm. Uh, we deal with faults and non-fault claims. So our uh, we deal with a lots of non-fault claims along with fault claims. Right. Um, and um, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. And we try to do that as best as possible. Okay. Now, I mean, obviously in this uh, type of business, um, we spoke about uh, the, the competition and so forth uh, and the advice that you're giving. Now, obviously in, ev in every business, I mean, uh, the main aspect of it is to, be, is to make money. Right. Yes. Now, in this type of business, yeah. right, there's injury, there's hiring the the car, the courtesy cars, and all that. I mean, it probably is is is, is um, a, a question that you wouldn't want to answer. Yeah. However, if you can, then where in this business the money to be made? Where which aspect of it is the is, is the you know financial gain? Well, there's the a, most financial there's, gain. There's the repair, the credit hire, there's the storage, the recovery. Right. Yeah, but there must, be, there, there, must, there must be some, uh, you know, customers that come to you and you say, well, you know what, it's not worth me taking this uh, 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 claim on yeah. or this case on. You know, tell us a little bit about well, this. Well, where, where, which one makes you, you know, like, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Which claim would you like to take on? Is it when there's more passengers? Is it when it's a big vehicle? Is it when it's an expensive vehicle? No. Also, uh, like to take on is a different subject. Okay. Uh, a client comes for a service and you need to provide... A service to them, yeah. however uh, big or small it or is. Small it is. Mm. So there is no absolute like because numbers and uh, what I like is obviously I need enough work to pay for the staff, pay for everyone. Right. So everything that comes in that is you know uh, looks good to us and that we can be successful in, we'll take on. Okay, so you don't, uh, you know, reject any, any uh, Well, unless, unless it's your fault and you're trying to say it's not my fault, then we would reject it. Obviously, we'll know from the beginning what cases we're going to be successful in and what cases we're not going to be successful in. Right, right. So in terms of advice, I mean, you're not one of those companies that say, well, you know, you know what, if you do this, if you do that, there's, you, you know, you can make a bit, a, bit, a bit more money. Because this is, you know, the, the things that we hear about these kind of businesses is, uh, you know, a lot of them... There are a lot of businesses like yourself, genuine businesses there, but a lo lot, of, lot of scams are going on uh, and people take the benefit of it. Well, the scams are... Not uh, only the, the owners of the businesses, yeah, the, the, the customers this, as well. This is all more or less eliminated now. In the okay. last four, three, four years, the, the what you say, cash for crash is that what they call it? Yeah. yeah. So that's more or less eliminated from the industry. Okay. So all the bad things that there were going on, I don't think it exists in... It's a, less possible yeah, now. Yeah, it exists in large numbers. If, if it exists, it's probably very minute and small numbers. So okay. that's been eliminated. Okay. Well, we haven't got much time left, yes. but I just wanted to, um, you know, touch up on uh, something else which... Like you're an entrepreneur, obviously, yeah. so this is one of the businesses. Um, if you can tell us quickly what other businesses you're involved and then we can touch up on the uh, com a little bit of the community work that you're involved in. So uh, I'm, 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 I'm involved with a lot of online businesses. So, for example, laundry services, mm -hmm. um, clothing services. Okay. So that's uh, two of my online Two of the other businesses. Uh, online okay. platform. Obviously, I'm involved in uh, properties. Okay. Uh, um, so there's quite so a there's few, quite, quite a, you know, uh, but this yeah. is one of the main yes. business that you take passion yes. in. All right. Okay. Now, you're also involved and you've been elected uh, the chairman 
of Shurma Center for two terms, I believe. And now Shurma Community uh, Center is um, basically Bengali Workers Association. Association, right. And it's actually, it was established in 1976, I believe. Yes. Right. So it's one of the oldest uh, and the biggest Bengali organizations in, in the UK. Just quickly, why did you get into that and what have you done for the community? Okay, so um, I got involved because obviously I am from the area and I used the services when I was a young person myself right. and it's to my heart. Um, elected in 2014, just resigned in 2018, uh, uh, right. so I served two years terms. Um, it's very hard time for the community sector now, the fundings are a very uh, string it very small at the moment. Okay. Um, I did uh, try the best I could. Okay. But times are hard. Okay. And uh, as you said, it's short. So yeah. Yeah. But it was uh, it was four very good years it, of it, my it, life. It, it, it must have been um, very four good years, like you said. And yeah. uh, I'm sure you've done a lot of, for the community. We'll have to wrap it up now. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd like to just once again say thank you very much for coming to the show. Uh, you know, joining me it was a pleasure. Um, and uh, you know, to the viewers. Basically, I'm sure they were, uh, you know, very happy to meet you. And in the future, you can give us, you know, some advice if we do other shows and stuff like that. But we'll have to wrap it up now because of a uh, short of time. But I'd like to say a very big thank you for you to uh, come to the show today. Um, the pleasure was actually all mine. Uh, last few words, if, if you want to say anything. Okay. Thank you to the viewers for putting up with me. Thank you to yourself, Sharif, Most and welcome. TV One and the Entrepreneur Show. I, I wish them all the success. Like I said, the pleasure was all mine. Right, so uh, in the next program, we'll have a, a, another entrepreneur and uh, we'll be taking some advice and learn about his business. So thank you, everybody, for joining me today on The Entrepreneur. Thank you very much.